of Gold Run, Dakota Territory was owned outright by the Gold Run Mining Company. Even the local lawmen were paid by the company. But that hadn't stopped the loss of hundreds of thousands of dollars in ore from the mine. The company officials knew it was the old crime of high grading, stealing high grade ore out of someone else's mine. But they didn't know who was doing it or how it was done. That's why I was hired by the company's eastern headquarters. My name's Slade. I'm a private detective. I put in a lot of work on the case before I rode into Gold Run. I had a careful plan in mind. you ten. Call. Full house. Three aces and two queens. Another hand. There you go. Well, those aces sure are living with you today. Yeah, sure are, all right. Talking about. You just dealt that card off of the bottom. What is it, another ace? Get the sheriff. Just finishing it. What are you doing in Gold Run? Looking for a job in the mine. The town is part of the mine. I run them both. You'll learn that fast. You want me to lock him up, Mr. Douglas? No. If he starts any more trouble, carry out my orders. We want no riffraff in Gold Run. That's my money. I want it. <laughs> stealing from the bottom. Hold it. He's just as crooked as a dealing. I've seen him before, and I'll bet you any odds his name ain't Mason. How about him, mister? What is your name? Mason. Joe Mason. You ever been in Deadwood? No. He's lying, Sheriff. That's where I seen him. It wasn't more than a year ago. I've never been in Deadwood in my life. I tell you, his name ain't Mason. And that's where I saw him. I'll think of his name. Just give me time. Maybe it was state prison where you both served time, huh, Mr. Ben? I know his name ain't Mason. He had $50 when he started, Mr. Douglas. This ain't over yet, mister. You better think hard, Ben. He's wanted by the law, and we want to know about it. You can take my word for it. It'll come to me. Meantime, watch your step. This all his? He looks like a pretty tough customer. Who is it? Batten. Come in. It's all right. 
Somebody was following me, but I lost him. Good. Was it convincing? Oh, very. Hey, Sheriff Sloan know anything about me yet? Well, that phony reward poster was sent to his office a few days back. Your description matches a gunman, card sharp, ex-convict called Joe Manners perfectly. Mm -hmm. If the sheriff was honest, you'd wind up in jail. You think I will? Nah. He's not actually a lawman at all. The mining company hired him. They made a mistake. You think he and his deputies are part of the high graders, huh? Oh, they must be. Forty to a hundred ton of high grade ore disappear every month from the gold run mine. How? Where does it go? Who takes it? This is my first case, Mr. Slade. I guess I haven't made much of a showing for a deputy U.S. Marshal. But I'm sure the sheriff and his men are in on a deal. And that saloon keeper Hartley. And half of the company employees as well. Is there anyone we can trust in this town? Yeah, there's one. A man named Ward. Ward? Yeah. He's a private investigator for the insurance company. I don't know if anyone's on him yet or not. He's managed to work his way into the bookkeeping end of it. Uh-huh. What about this general manager, Douglas? Uh, I don't know. Anybody on to you yet? They didn't to begin with, but I'm not so sure now. They've been watching every move I make. I think you better pull out. I'll make it look like I ran out of town. You're gonna need some help. Uh, if I get into trouble, I'll go to Ward. Matter of fact, I think you better pull out right now. Come on. Okay. Good luck, Benton. Good luck, Slade. Next morning, I headed for the company's offices to try and get a job in the mines. The sheriff interfered, but not in a way that I had expected. Just a minute, Manners. My name is Mason, Joe Mason. I know otherwise, Manners. Check that gun. Do you always carry an over and under? That's right. So does Joe Manners. I've got identification. What? Letters. Joe Mason, Sioux Falls, Dakota Territory. You write them yourself? You tell me. I think you did. Anything else you'd like to know? Nothing I can't learn from a reward poster. Watch your step, Mr. Mason. The work application was routine. I wrote that I was a miner with 12 years' experience. After checking my name, the clerk handed me an envelope. He said someone had left for me. I remembered who you are. Take trail to the Lost Bonanza mine about noon. Bring $500 or I'll talk. Signed, Benton. Whoever planted the phony message believed I was Joe Manners, a gunman. But I wondered why someone wanted me out on that trail. I remembered the sheriff handling my shotgun. One of the two shells had been replaced with an empty one. The pattern of the puzzle was taking shape. Benton said he was leaving town. I hoped he had. I didn't like the thought that was in my mind. But as Joe Manners, I had to follow the instructions in the note. Finding the trail to the Lost Bonanza mine was no problem. The place was well known to everyone in Gold Run. It belonged to a character known as Bonanza Jake. Whoever wrote that message couldn't have picked the loneliest spot for a meeting. It made me more certain of what I was going to find on the trail ahead. Try to use your gun. 
Drop it. Sounds like you want to take me alive, Hartley. Well, I won't argue. Oh, you can tell your man there that he won't find that empty shell that Sheriff Sloan planted. I already took care of that. What do you mean? You and Sloan would like to frame me for this murder, wouldn't you? You're the only one who has any reason to want him dead. Am I? Sure, you had a knockdown fight with him. That's one reason. But not enough. There's more. You're Joe Manners. The sheriff has a reward poster to prove it. This man you murdered was a detective. Benton here remembered you from Deadwood. So you killed him to shut him up. You know I didn't kill Benton. Well, I'll think you did if I tell what I know. What do you want, Hartley? We'll talk back at my office. Don't worry about him. The sheriff won't hear about it unless... unless perhaps our talk is not to your agreement. After you. Let me get this thing straight, Hartley. You're willing to pay me $500 and say nothing to the sheriff about Benton if I kill a man for you. And if I don't, you'll charge me with murdering Benton. Is that right? That's right. It's an easy choice. Well... All right, Hartley. Who is he? He works for the company as a bookkeeper. He and Benton were working together. His name is Ward. Ward, huh? And where do I find him? He's in my place every day. After work. According to Benton, the only man I could trust was Ward. Now I was supposed to kill him. Can't beat that. <laughs> Your deal. And you're asking for it. Oh, I gotta win the hand sometime, you know. That's Ward over there playing cards with that old man, but that's a Jake. Any connection with Ward? No. Spends a lot of time around here telling how he's going to hit a rich again. Ward's been friendly with him because he thinks the old man knows something. Well, maybe he does. Whatever old Jake says, it wouldn't take stock in. He had a vein, a surface vein, at his mine years ago. Petered out, and he's been digging around there ever since. Won't give up. Mm hmm. Jack. A little bit, uh, uh, five, and ten more. I'm out. <laughs> I ain't got a thing. <laughs> he doesn't do it if you think it's correct. How about another hand? Oh, not today, son. I gotta get back to my diggings. I spend too much time fooling around civilization as it is. It's mighty pleasant, uh, but it's a warping of the mind. I can't afford to go soft, you know, while there's water to be done. I'll see you, Bob. Good luck. Yeah, I'll take you on, mister. Thanks, gotta be gone. Benton's dead, I've gotta talk to you. Oh. I'm in room 17 at the hotel. Thanks, maybe some other time, mister. <laughs> to you, Warden. How do you know? Hartley just hired me to kill you. You better disappear and I'll try to convince him I dropped your body down a mine shaft. I just had a few more days. <laughs> You're lucky if you get a few more hours. I told you they killed Benton this morning. Do you know who did it? Hartley and Sheriff Sloan. They're both in this thing up to their necks. Which one of them do you think runs the organization? Either one of them. I think they're both hired men. Oh, there's someone bigger than them behind this. Any ideas? What do you know about this general manager, Douglas? I've been checking on him for months. Haven't turned up a thing. Of course, the fact that the Eastern office ordered this investigation without letting him know doesn't look good. Well, what? Haven't you turned up anything at all? The records have shown an average monthly loss of $10,000 in high-grade ore. How are they getting it out of the mine? Well, Benton figured that it was being taken between the mine and the smeller. He checked every man, every angle, didn't turn up a thing. What do you figure? I know that that ore is being stolen while it's still inside the mine. I can prove it by the company book. Does Douglas know about this? He came across the discrepancies about the same time I did. What's he done about it? Been wearing himself out trying to pin it down. I'll have to get a look at those books tonight. All right. 
I made a duplicate key to the office. What time does everybody get out of there? Make it 7 o'clock. All right. Here, 7. All right. figures show that more ore was mined than ever reached the surface. There was no question that the ore was stolen from within the mine. But how it happens, I have no idea. Is that a map of the mine? Yeah. Let's have a look at it. Is this accurate? Shows every working in the entire mine. Tell me, is there any possibility that another way out has been dug through this uh, upper level here? No. You run into solid rock at both ends. It takes tons of powder to blast out of there. Most of the ore is being taken out down to this level now. What's this? Well, the company started to sink a shaft there, and they didn't find any ore, so it was abandoned. Well, I don't think I want to take a look at this mine. And I want to see that Mr. Douglas. Put the shotgun down easy, like. You foolish manners. Or whatever your name is. I got a good name for detectives. That's right. Burglars. They broke in. We caught them. They tried to run. Douglas who I was, what had happened to Benton and Ward, and how Hartley and the sheriff of the company's own town had tried to pin both murders on me. I also told him we still didn't know the identity of the boss behind the high grading, but that Ward had narrowed the thefts down to an operation that worked from within the mine. What else did Ward tell you? That's about all of it, Mr. Douglas. Oh, I know all that. Well, I've been over every inch of that mine, didn't learn a thing. Who's in the mine now? No one. We don't operate a night shift. Mind if we take a look through it? Huh. This is the end of the top level shaft. We ran into solid rock. Uh-huh. this shaft here behind us. The map in the company office said... We said tried one deeper. We abandoned it a year ago. Well, since we're here, let's check everything, Mr. Douglas, huh? All right.
is where we gave up. The assay showed too low a grade of ore to bother with. How long since this tunnel's been worked? Not a year. A year, huh? What's behind here? Nothing, just timbers. his own mine a failure, Bonanza Jake became embittered when the Gold Run Company struck it rich, and only a few hundred feet from his mine. He'd extended his shaft far enough under the mountain to connect the two mines. The prospect of easy wealth brought him his partners. Hartley was dead, but Sloan confessed to the murders of Benton and Ward, and the entire organization was turned over to the U.S. Marshal. 